started with talking with customers. And for the people in this audience, I think everybody knows this, this customer set pretty well. And, and one thing about this customer set, they're very sophisticated. They are very articulate in their ability to say, this is what I want, this is what I don't want. One thing that was very, very clear is they wanted real utility in this product. Universal, didn't matter if we were talking to, to folks that are doing oil and gas or media and entertainment. They wanted to have function, utility, and purposeful design. So it became kind of the theme, the, 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 the uh, design theme, design principles for this particular product. I'm going to kind of give you an overview of some of the key highlights of the design of the product. And I'm actually going to start with the inside. We actually started with the inside, so it's appropriate for me to start this, this uh, description with the inside. So the uh, door comes off. First and foremost, we wanted a clean design. And we wanted a clean design because, first of all, that, that represents a degree of efficiency, a degree of care and understanding of, of how these products would be used. So we, we, we laid out the system, we laid out and architected the, the system to enable a clean design. We wanted the components to be accessible. We wanted to have the same type of functional utility you would find in our server class of product, another very sophisticated customer for us at Dell. And so to do that, we actually divided the chassis. So most, most computers have their chassis, have the motherboard sitting against one side of the, of the uh, system. We actually moved it over. That allowed us to put the computing on one side, power and data on the other. These are really two different types of systems and allowed us to do something else that we're very excited about. So the other thing we were able to do is actually bring the hard drives to the front. Now, we know that there's wide range of our customers that are always pulling hard drives out. As a matter of fact, we actually saw a customer with the system <coughs> pointed outward. It worked with the system out, door open, so they were constantly swapping hard drives. Some people have to put them in safes at the end of the day. A lot of the military, the government, some of the researchers have to do that. Others are collaborating with other people and they're, and they're using these hard drives as archiving of uh, big data projects. So we said, let's, let's make these accessible. And then you know what? This is actually normally an optical bay, but you know, optical bays really are losing their role in the future. We still have optical, but we thought, well, for, for much of the audience, for much of the people who are going to be using this, why don't we make that repurposeful? So a customer can actually configure this with four more hard drives. And one of the things we heard universally is you can't have too many hard drives. We have eight. And they're and, and easy to get to. So these can be popped out, pulled out, swapped out, had phenomenal feedback on that feature. The other thing that we did, we realized one of the aspects of the system that, that can be less reliable is the power supply. On most conventional computers, if you have, if you have power, if the power supply fails, you're spending the day disassembling it, pulling all the wires, and putting it back together. We took a little bit of our learnings from our server products and it's as quick as pull it out, put it back in, and you're working again. If you have several hundred systems to be deployed, you can keep a couple of these in the back room and do a quick exchange in minutes. It's literally minutes, seconds, to swap out that power supply. We've had tremendous feedback, positive feedback on that. It's kind of fundamental, but I think you guys have noticed just the minimal ability to have handles was a universal ask. Another ask was, you know, some of these things are going to start moving out of the workspace. We're going to move into the back office. We're going to move into consolidated work areas. So this top cover comes off, and the same rack rails that we use in our server products, in our 5U five, five server products, will bolt right on, and it will go into the rack. We actually have an example of that in the uh, product showcase area. And so you can create uh, rendering clusters, rendering farms, you can just do remote computing, and we have examples of both those solutions. The general theme here has been where others, when we, we saw what others were doing, and others were using a lot of covers, a lot of cosmetic materials, aluminums, and, and plastic doors, and things like that. Thought, you know what, we're not going to do that. We're going to have a theme where I can point to every part of this product and tell our user, our very sophisticated, our very professional user, why we did that and we're confident that that's something that we've achieved.